Mac Guy Reports here, bringing to you a clip from the iPhone 3.0 preview last Tuesday. Uh, this particular clip is cut, copy, and paste. I like how they change that up instead of just being copy and paste. But uh, anyway, um, if you guys like the type, type videos that you're seeing from me, definitely feel free to subscribe. Um, also, uh, any questions and comments that you have, definitely leave those, and uh, I'll get back with you as soon as I can with it. iPhone 3.0 brings a lot of incredible features for developers. It also brings them for our customers. And in fact, iPhone 3.0 has more than 100 new features for our customers. Let me walk you through just a few, starting <laughs> with cut, copy, and paste. So we have been working really hard to design a easy to use, straightforward user interface for cut, copy, and paste on our large touchscreen display. And we think we've nailed it. Let me go ahead and just demo it for you now. Here's my phone running iPhone 3.0. Now I'll go here. Let me launch Mail. Let me scroll down a little. And here's a message here from Daniel Vincent. Uh, I guess we're going to some conference in Hawaii. He wants to know what flight I want to take. Uh, and uh, what I'd like to do there. I'll go ahead and reply to him. And I'll scroll down, and uh, here's how you now select text on the phone. That's it. You double tap onto the text, and it automatically selects that text. So I'd like to fly uh, Oceanic Flight 815. Uh, it, you can see it puts these little grab points at the end of the selection, and then it automatically puts this cut, copy, paste bubble directly above your current selection. I'll say copy. I'll scroll back to the top of the message, double tap to bring up this paste bubble, and paste. That's it. That is copy and paste in iPhone 3.0. Now let me go ahead and select this again, double tap to select it, and I'll cut it. Let's say I want to select the entire block down here. Again, double tap to select that. And now I'll put my thumb on that right grab point. I get a magnifier for the selection. Drag it down, select that entire block, and say copy. I've now selected the whole block. Again, drag back to the top, double tap, and paste. So is that easy to select whole blocks, you know, multiple words, paragraphs, anything? Now that's copying and pasting within one application. But of course, we made copy paste work across all applications. So let me leave this application, and I'll go out to notes. And here in notes, I have a note with some restaurants for Oahu. So I'll go ahead and uh, select that note. And these are the Oahu restaurants here. I'll just put my finger down, bring up that standard magnifier. When I let go, I get the selection bubble. Say select all. So selecting all the text in this note, copy it, leave notes to go back to mail. And again, I just tap, let me go down one line, tap to bring up that bubble, paste, and now we've copied across applications, so it's that easy. Uh, in addition to copying plain text, this is plain text, we also copy web content. So let me leave here and go to Safari. We copy HTML. Here's a web page on uh, things to do in Hawaii. Let me double tap to zoom in a little. What do I want to do? I'd like to swim with the dolphins. So all I do is I put my finger and hold it down here. It automatically selects that block. In fact, you know, we have this analytics engine in uh, Safari that analyzes the layout, the logical layout of the page. And that's how we zoom into the right region when you double tap. We use that here when doing selections. So in fact, if I want to extend the selection, I can just grab on that grab point in the bottom, drag it down, and now I've selected two blocks. Go ahead and copy that HTML content, leave here, go back to mail, tap to bring up that paste bubble, and paste. So HTML copying across applications. Now let's say that I didn't mean to paste that, or I typed something I didn't mean to. Well, all you have to do is shake to undo. <laughs> you shake your phone, it gives you the options. I can say undo, paste, undo. I can shake it again. I can redo it. So you can undo and redo multiple times. I'll go ahead, undo that. All right. Let's show uh, from another application. I'll go out to our Messages application. And here, 
Uh, I think someone sent me some information about the, uh, the Iolani Palace uh, in SMS as a text message. So right here at the bottom bubble, say we took a great tour of the Iolani Palace. Just put my finger down, hold it, get that, it selects that entire bubble, gives me that copy selection above. I'll say copy, leave, go back into mail. Again, just tap to bring up that paste bubble. And now I've pasted from SMS right into mail. So across all these key applications. Now, so far, I've only shown copying and pasting from our applications. But of course, this works for third party apps as well. So I'm going to leave here. I'll go over to, uh, here's Wikimobile. This is a native third party application. It's a front end to Wikipedia. So I'll launch into here, and it has a, an article about the Iolani Palace. You can scroll down. Let's go for Palace Tours. Expand that out. And here's some tour information. So let's put my finger down. It automatically selected it. You can actually drag around to change your selection if you'd like, uh, if you didn't select the right thing. But I like that one. Copy. Leave there. Go back to Mail. Tap to bring up that paste bubble and paste. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you, uh, and that is photos. We've had requests to send more than one photo at a time. And now in iPhone 3.0, you can do that. Let me go into Photos. And I'll choose, uh, I think I have an Oahu album in here. Here it is. So let me go ahead. I'll tap on that Action button in the bottom. We're in Selection mode now. I'll select the Iolani Palace, select that Lighthouse. I'll say Copy. Copies both of those photos. Leave here, go back to mail. And again, simple, tap to bring up that paste bubble, paste. And I've now pasted multiple photos right into mail. So copy, paste, and iPhone 3.0. So we're bringing cut, copy, and paste to the iPhone and iPod Touch. It works across all applications, both our built-in applications and developer applications from the App Store. We have Shake to Undo as well. And there are developer APIs. So if there's a data type you'd like to put on the pasteboard, you can use the APIs to do that. And the Cocoa Touch controls have support for copy-paste built in. So if you're using the built-in Cocoa Touch controls, depending how you use them, adding cut, copy, paste to your application will either be no work at all or very minimal work. Cut, copy, paste.